right, we got it. We got it going on. Girls are doing warm up. Because you're being good. Are you going to pick up the poop now? Yeah, I'll pick up the poop now. Everybody that goes by me riding this boy always has a huge smile on their face. Every single person. Isn't that crazy? We're talking to each other. I know we feel the same. About the situation, like we're stuck inside a game. Time to get out of this circle, yeah, we both carry a scar. Let's rewrite the part we're playing, time to cherish who we are. The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance. Not like anything we've done before, oh, oh, yeah. Now it's time for something better, and time for us to follow our dreams. No, we can't stay no more. Oh. Come run away. Don't be afraid. We'll be okay. And I know it's the right thing to do. Let's break away. All colors will fade. Let's go our own way. Now's the time to decide what to do, and I'll stand by you. By you. I'll stand by you. Now's the time to decide what to do. Let's break away. Get up, get up, do it, break away. Get up, get up, do it. So he's waiting to the right time to ask to canter. Always mixed emotions, the first step is always hard When you walk out of the doorway, but that's just the place to start The only thing I ever wanted, starts with us taking the chance Not like anything we do Good boy! Alright, so Sophie just jumped the jump, I missed it That's okay. So how we work in our family, and this is, this is for all of you guys that struggle with confidence. What we do, and Sophie knows how to do it really well, and I'm really proud of her. She gets a lot of criticism in the comments for it, but this is something that she does that is unbelievably amazing. When you're losing confidence, find a way to do the thing you need to do, but do it less. You missed it, <gasps> Well. So Sophie will put the jump really low, go over that way. Sometimes she'll walk over the jump. Sometimes she'll trot over the jump before she canters it. She does all the things that she needs to do to build her confidence back up. Okay. I can't do it because you didn't video. Oh, okay. Go. Okay. So that is not dumb. That is not bad riding. That is smart thinking. She's building her confidence all on her own. And that is a huge thing, you guys. So anyways, I wanted to tell you guys that because any of you guys who are struggling and always people always ask me, how do I get my confidence back? Go slow, start small, take a little leap of faith. A little leap of faith. Big leaps of faith are a bunch of little leaps of faith strung together. So little, 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 and then suddenly you're ready for the big. It doesn't matter what you're doing in life, big fears just need little jumps of faith. What's the video idea? How to get your confidence up when you're jumping. Yeah, we should do that. Well, we kind of just did do that. So, Finn gets a little excited. So Finn does get excited. She knows that. Another part of taking a little leap of faith. So I guess walk up to it and then try a little bit before it. And then he has, he has to stay. So uh, little leaps of faith also sometimes take talking yourself into it. Like, we always spend so much time. We always spend so much time talking ourselves out of things and little leaps of faith mean often require talking yourself into it. So you, it was like she does and she does it too. Sophie has all the things that she needs in life inside for herself to be successful. Okay, Sophie has other advice for rebuilding confidence. Okay. So if you think he's going too fast or your mare or whatever you're riding. Um, Not your tractor though, just your horse. Or your 
horse, cow, donkey, zebra, whatever you're riding. Um, if you think they're going too fast, then, and you're right before the jump, find a good circling space and just circle around the jump. I'll show you in a minute. And then, so that he... Gets got, confused, doesn't anticipate. Yeah, and then um, he doesn't know if we're circling or if we're going over the jump. Okay, go ahead, show them. So you should go over first and then the second time do it. So he was getting anticipating and getting excited. So she did a turn. This is not to be confused with teaching him to not go over the jump. She's teaching him that not to expect what she's going to do because see he doesn't know still got a little excited though good job though sophie that was a perfect example did you guys see how he didn't rush the jump and often he rushes the jump and they have to pull back he's good yep yeah, he was looking he doesn't know what to do he was not he doesn't know what to think should i get ready to go over the jump or should i She's just doing that for a video, just to show people. Know, don't keep going the same pattern. Or half halt before the jump? Is something else that she does to get him to slow down? Sometimes I think that we always pay attention to what we're not doing or what we don't do well instead of all the things we've learned and all the things that we're doing well. Like she's learned a lot. Look, the other way. There we go. That is... Some good ride in there, so other direction. Another thing Sophie has done in the past to, if she's been afraid to canter her horse, her horse asking, Finn used to be really hard to canter. You guys know that, and she used to be really scared to canter him, so then she learned to let him go over the jump and canter away, and doing that, it took all the anxiety out of it for Finn and all the anxiety out of it for Sophie. That time she just asked for the canter. But that was how Sophie learned to canter. So for any of you guys who are struggling with cantering jumps. All right, Gabby's ready. Gabby is ready. Are you ready? No. Oh. Okay. All right, so Sophie wants to show you guys another way to jump if your horse is acting up. I'm remembering all this from like a while ago. Like when we had lessons and trainers? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, your horse is acting up, then just go like you're going to go normally to the jump, but half, if it's like this on a quarter line, then just circle like you're doing a circle, but then circle over the jump. What does that do? That also helps Finn, because he thinks he's just doing a normal circle. Instead of jumping, running away after the jump, he has to turn? No. So, we're doing... A circle, but going right. over the jump, and he thinks he's just doing a circle, but then we turn to oh, go over the jump. Oh, yeah, trickery. We resort to trickery. Right, right Finny? So Finny thinks he's doing a circle. That was kind of a bad example because he got excited there. There we go. Good job, so. Good job. Now it's time for something better. It's time for us to follow our dreams. No, we can't stay no more. She says Finn's longs are way smoother than Storm. She feels like she's soaring on Finn. And Storm, she feels like she's dying. Like he's stopping at the jump, like planting his feet to stop, and then jumps it, launches you out of your attack while you jump it, and then he lands it. But he's amazing. Like he, I think Storm's our most amazing horse, to be honest. 
because he has sass, he has personality, he has charisma, he has beauty, and he is entertaining as heck. So another way to make your horse slow down is to do a bounce, because then he has to like think about what he's doing, because it's jump, 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 jump. So jump, stride, 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 jump. So it's really good. I didn't understand that, but I'm glad you do. So just like that, that is a wrap. We have people that come after us, so we can only ride for so long, which I like, because it gets the girls moving, gets the girls doing what they need to do, and then we get to go home and get warm. What you may think you saw was Sophie going backwards on Finn, but what you really saw was an 11-year-old girl building confidence in herself and in her horse on her own with all the skills that she's been taught by her trainers. And that, my friends, is the biggest miracle of all. Don't you know that you're beautiful?